What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So, a little update of why we've got this bad boy, what's going on with the KTM and everything else that's going on. So, I don't know where I'm going. I don't have a plan on where I need to be. Basically just trying to get as lost as, uh, as possible. Um, hopefully not too late because uh, I've just noticed my bulb uh, has blown from my headlight. So, being in the dark will be fun. But it's 10 o'clock now, or 11 o'clock now, so I doubt we'll be out that long. But anyway, let's kick it into gear and uh you know what i might go yeah fuck it we'll go this way i know where i am right now but i'm going to take as many random lanes as possible and get as lost as possible and because that's after fun with biking and i've not been able to do it on the ktm you know i wouldn't be able to go down i could go down lanes like this but it's just not good for it and uh in the condition it is and then at the moment i definitely don't want to be doing that so that's why we got there. So, I'm going to do a full story, well not a full story, I'm going to do a full video on uh, the KTM's issues because, uh, let's shut this down so you got a bit of better audio. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a full video on the KTM because uh, all the faults that I've got are all common faults, so it'd be nice to, you know, do a video on that, talk about it, and, uh, you know, uh, hopefully, you know, help some other people uh, that are going to get that problem because they're massively common problems. But at the minute, basically, basically, it's got, as you know, um, random stoppage. What's this about? Uh, fuck it. I won't bother. All right, we'll go a different way. Fuck that. I ain't waiting around that. Um, <laughs> as you know, it's got the oil leak, so it's got. Two, two possible. Well, yeah, it's got two oil leaks. One of them could be from two places. One, it could be the sump gasket. I just need to locate where it's um, where it's leaking from. Either the sump gasket, uh, or I think it's the drive. Um, what is it? Uh, I want to say drive train, tra train train. Fucking the other thing, uh, which is like a, I think it's an O-ring or something like that. Um, but right at the bottom of the engine, um, which isn't a big deal. I'm probably, I'm probably going to get it done. I need to get the uh, 9,000 mile service done soon anyway, because in six months I've done 5,000 miles on that bike. <laughs> I've been using it, uh, which is the way you should be doing it. So yeah, that's one of them. Not too bad. I probably will have to get the headers off uh, to actually get that. Some, if it is the sump gasket, get the sump gasket off. But as I said, I've got to do an oil change or, you know, the big service anyway. So I might as well do that as I'm changing the oil, you know. Um, so that's not a big deal. The other one is the rocker covers. Uh, no, I wouldn't say leaking all the weeping oil. It's not a big leak. I'm not worried about it. Um, at, I think it's 18, is it 18,000 miles? Because I think you service this bike every 9,000 9, miles or something ridiculous like that. On that service, they'll do the valve clearances. So I'll be able to check it then or get get ktm to check it then because that top rocker cover is going to have to come off anyway so yeah nice and easy uh we'll go this way because i know there's a few lanes this direction could actually go up there but uh we won't bother the rapid power of the 250 but yeah so we've got those two oil leaks we've also also got the coolant leak which is another very common thing um it's usually just the um just the clamp loosens and you just tighten it back up and it seems to fix it uh, so that's another not a big deal the other slightly bigger deal is and it is very common on these KTM's is the front discs get warped um, and I it was weird I felt it beforehand and then I got the boys at, at work just to check it and check that it was uh, both of them and not just one of them and as expected it was both of them so I got to replace the front discs now front discs are bloody expensive especially ktm ones but they do do their power parts you know custom wavy ones so it just gives me an excuse to upgrade it so i'm just waiting for the money to do those that'll be the first one i do because I, I bought the brake pads ready i should have gone that way um i brought the bike pads ready already already so i just gotta wait until i have enough money for um a set of discs then so yeah those are the the only issues at the moment um so he's just sat until I, I want to get it all fixed beforehand and, um, and do it that way. So you probably won't see it for a little while. Um, I'm not going to wait forever 
I will get it done as soon as possible really because I don't want to be waiting forever to get that bike back because it's fantastic but um, that's the reason I got this so I could because at the moment my KTM is the only mode of transport so uh, because I wanted to you know put it away for a little bit and not keep using it I bought this little puppy and I want to do a video with this thing um, in the near future so that's the reason I also bought it uh, but I'll do a video on why exactly I bought it why I chose this one out of all you know other bikes I could have gone for we'll do that again at some point but yeah I mean this is just an update video just to give you an idea of what's been going on uh, today is the day of the giveaway so if you're watching this video and you never entered I'm sorry you missed out I tried what I could to get everyone involved not a lot of people entered so your chances are huge and um, the winner gets you know about a thousand pounds not a thousand pounds about about 100 pounds worth of uh, stuff second place is about 50 pounds worth of stuff and third place is about 20 something like that so yeah it ain't, it ain't go bad bad going um i don't know who's won yet i'll be doing it later on today right guys you've all been assigned numbers for the people that entered the giveaway competition remember three winners first place second place third place i'll draw it in that order as well here we go i've got the numbers ready next to me we're going to use this random number spinny thing to tell me. Only 20 people entered, so you've got a huge chance of winning, so let's just get it done. Oh, there we go. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Well, the amp spins fast. Ooh! Number 17, which was Max. Max, you've won first place. I'll write it down on a piece of paper. Next spin. Number, that looks like five, yeah, number five. Aaron Marshall, number second, number second, <laughs> second place, and last but not least, for third place, oh, number four, which was... Dan Martin, there's no way. <laughs> Dan, you got third place. Nice one. Right, I'll be able to contact you all on Instagram before you even see this video. So this video is just in a in one of my videos just to prove that I, I did it legit. Your numbers are all over there. Happy days. Well done to the winners. I'll um, get talking to you on Instagram or wherever you posted it. And um, get those, uh, those bits sent out to you. So nice one. So yeah, other than that, what else has been going on? Um... Not a lot. There wasn't videos for a little bit because I uh, I got the lovely text. Uh, do you know what? I might actually go. I won't do it yet. I might come back up that way. I might come back up that way. You probably haven't seen this lane for a while. I used to go down it all the time. All the time. With the time when I had the groom. Shit! I completely forgot what I was saying again. Oh yeah, the the the, the text. The text of um for the NHS to say I had to self-isolate because someone I'd been near had got COVID so yeah that was fucking shit it was my gym someone that worked at my gym got it so everybody got the text so I had to self-isolate for a bit which honestly I did I did you know but uh, it's so boring I can't do it I really really can't the very you know when we had that first lockdown I worked for all that lockdown I'm so glad I did because I could not be sat there I cannot do it. I can't sit in a house. Yeah, I got a really weird thing, right? It's gonna sound really dumb. If I stay in the house all day and I don't do anything, my jaw hurts. Meh. <laughs> it's just, I don't know why. And that's why I have this stock exhaust on this bike. Cause I wanna go down lanes like this all the time and you see horses all the time and it's just nice to be nice. And then I have the KTM that I can be obnoxious. Someone's been doing donuts there. But yeah, so we'll be doing videos on this for a little bit. Um, I've also done some voiceover videos 
while I was on lockdown, I'll, I'll get out at some point. Um, but other than that, that's that's basically just an update. I just wanted to let you know. Um, I post this stuff on Instagram all the time, but not everybody follows me on Instagram. Not everybody has Instagram. Not everybody has Facebook. All that stuff. So it's just easier to get a video out on YouTube and explain it and you know give you a bit of content at the same time. So yeah, I think that's everything. Uh, if not, I'll I don't know put it in writing or something. Uh, but for now, we're just gonna get lost as possible. Oh, actually, I remembered one other thing that I wanted to talk about. And that is, I'm thinking about getting a little group together. Um, it's, it's, it's in thought process at the minute, so it ain't, you know, I haven't done anything about it. But I was thinking about, you know, getting some local girls and boys together um, that ride bikes and once or twice a month do a video on about five of us. You know, you get like gaming groups do it, don't you, you know, uh, obviously Vanos and his lot and that kind of stuff. Uh, so it'd be interested in getting like a group together like that on um, on bikes, do it that way. I don't know, it'd be, I think it'd be quite fun. I like group rides as well, so, yes! Now, I want to know your opinions. I've, when I bought the bike, it actually got, I've got a full system Delkovic exhaust, headers, pipe, the lot. And it doesn't, it's not too loud, it's not too loud at all. Um, the reason I stuck the stock exhaust on is for two reasons. One is a bit more relaxing than, how, you know, going from my office and racing to this. It's nice and relaxing. I can just plot along, um, not scare horses, that kind of stuff. But also, if I do want to go off-roading and go through woods and shit like that, I ain't bringing attention to myself because then we can hear me. I mean, listen to it. The tyres make more noise than the fucking exhaust does. So, but I also know that having an aftermarket exhaust just makes for video purposes better so let me know what you think should i just stick with the stock one or do you actually want to hear the delkovich i mean the delkovich is a lot lighter um but it's quite nice to just you know plot along in my opinion i'm going to stop this video so if you have enjoyed this video for whatever reason not a lot's happened it's just been an update but you know smash that like button anyways um, if for some reason you've come across this video and you haven't seen any of my other videos, go watch those and if you enjoy them, go subscribe. Uh, as I said, not a lot has happened in this video, it's just a bit of a, uh, an update, relaxing, talky talk really, more than anything, but we got plenty of content on this channel. And, uh, I've just got to keep everyone up to date with shits going on, because everything changes all the time. Yeah, so, yeah, all that stuff, comment below, and, uh, I'll see you in the next one, and I'm going to load up the next video right now.